He's good. Okay, we only have the cop left. Go, go, copper. Go, copper, go. No! <laughs> Why? What's up guys and welcome back to Polybridge. And before I start with today's episode, I wanted to mention that yes, I have seen Matt Shea's shout out of me and him beating my score in one of his recent Polybridge episodes. The reason I didn't comment on it last episode was because I hadn't actually seen it when I was recording that. My video was actually recorded before his video went up. Actually in his video, he beats the level that I beat in the video that came out after his, if that makes any sense. It's a whole mess. The point being, I hadn't seen it yet. I'm not gonna go back and try to beat his score or anything like that. He outdid me, and uh, and that's fine. But moving forward, we will be sure to keep an eye out for him on the leaderboard, just in case. 4-4, sorting, wood steel hydraulic rope cable, and $20,000, and a giant mess of stuff. Holy crap, okay. So we have three cars, three turnarounds, three places to go but they're not in the same order. So A is gonna go, C is gonna go, E is gonna go. Why wouldn't it be A, B, and C? Why A, C, and E? And then they're gonna go back in the different order. Okay, so we just need to build a bridge like this, right? And then it just needs to be able to hydraulically move around. So that seems pretty straightforward. I think I already built something like this, right? We can turn the grid off, move that down against the wall, and then turn this into a bridge. Then we had a split joint, we should be good to go. That was a pretty simple bridge, I'm pretty sure. So now I just need to figure out how much this is gonna contract and we're expand. Oh, wait a minute. That's not gonna work. Because, what? The hydraulics only move up or down. They only do one phase. I need two phases, because it needs to go up a little bit and then up again and then down a little bit and then down again. So I need, I need two. So how am I gonna do that? All right, here's what I've got, and I think this should work. This should all pivot around two points now. I'm pretty much just doing the same thing except for doubled. And I think I have it set up so that they should reach, right? Hopefully the bridge doesn't break as well. Okay, that's good. And now one of them is gonna go, this one isn't. And then we're good. And now this one is gonna go, and this one won't. Okay. <laughs> no, you don't. Right, there we go, okay. Now, I don't have the rest sorted out, so I need to figure out how we're gonna do that. So the first one is just this one to get to there. The second one is this one with this one already out to get to there. The third one, we need the cop car goes to here, so we'll make this one go down. Uh, that one go down, right? Yes. And then H is going to be uh, C going, so C needs to go up again. So that needs to go extend again. Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare. And then J needs to be both shrinking, I think. Let's give it a try. I'm not totally sure, but we'll see. Okay, so we got one. I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit. You're good, All right? And you should be good. I didn't change, thank you. It didn't change in the bridge. You go down and then you go. You need to go there. You need to go up, right? And then you go. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> so close. Okay, that's fine. This just needs to expend, extend a little tiny bit more. Let's try that again. <laughs> Getting all of these hydraulics, man, they're really difficult. And I know I've said it, I miss the old days of Polybridge where it was actually building a bridge and stress management and craziness. I think we got it. Yeah, <laughs> all right, I feel really good about that one. Now, we're 38th, and I just wanna take a quick little peek. Oh, okay, Matt Dario, that's that's not Matty Shea. I think, I don't know where he is. Could I make this any cheaper is the question, because I don't see him. I, I wish that you could expand the whole leaderboard, right? Like, I wish you could open this up, but you can't. Okay, can we make it any cheaper? I wonder if I delete that, and make it out of rope. I'm not gonna be doing this for all of them. I just wanna see, I wanna test myself. I wanna see if that would make any difference because I feel like that doesn't need to be steel and then we're saving a couple hundred bucks. If anything, I could probably make these a little bit lower as well to save a few dollars. All right? Okay, great. So I could have made it even cheaper then. Yeah! <laughs> 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 that, that, oh, that was so worth it. That was so worth trying. 
Ah, oh, that is perfect. And the thing is, there aren't that many people playing this game right now. Like, I think both of us are in like the top 30 almost every time we finish a level. So there's a good chance if I don't see him, I probably need to make my bridge a little cheaper. And I'm happy I did. Oh, yeah, vengeance. I can't freaking believe that. Okay, we're gonna move on. I, like I said, I'm not gonna make this a Vendetta series now, but I, I really wanted to at least have that happen once, so I'm happy that it's- I'm happy I could return the favor, because Matt was the person who introduced me to Polybridge, so if you guys are watching my series, you're probably gonna enjoy his, because I enjoy his. Uh, four, five, double monster jump, 40,000 budget, wood, and steel. No, I've already done this one, right? They don't move you on to the next one. I gotta go down here. The 410 flip-flop. Man, I was feeling good about a double monster jump. You got my hopes up. $16,500 wood, steel, hydraulic rope, cable. Oh, we got the the little, like, um, Polybridge mascot in this one. That's been a while. So we have boats and hydraulics and boats and hydraulics and boats and... Okay, this is a nightmare. So we have A going to there, and then boats. And then C going to there, and then boat, and then E going to there, and then boats. It's interesting though, because they gave us a little car and the little scooter, so like, how quick are you guys going? Pretty quick, right? I, I, I shouldn't have to drown a guy and have him be hit by a boat to check the speed, but at the same time, I feel like we might still be able to do some jumping here, right? So I kind of want to see how fast these things are going, because why not, right? Let's just see how fast you're going, first of all. All right, you're gonna hit that jump. Oh, yeah, you see, that almost made it. If I put, like, a little doohickey here, like that, and how do I want to hold? Oh, I don't want to hold that up that way, though. I, I might need to let it move out of the way. I might need to use a hydraulic, because that's probably gonna have to get it away for this guy to go, so we can do something like that. Right, so now you're gonna go, hit your ramp, woo! Ah, cl damn it, close. Okay, what if we, what if we just, I can't pull it out anymore. Maybe I just need to, I see, I can pull these out some more. Ah, uh, the grid screws me every time. Give that a try. I think that should work now. So you're gonna hit your jump. Oh yeah, easy peasy. Now you're gonna go up. I need to find a way for you to get over. And again, I like the idea of a ramp, so. Wow, God, this is gonna be a tight fit, though. What if we do that, right? This is gonna need to come down and get the hell out of my way. So if I put a hydraulic there, expand it, no, not that much. Expand it a little bit, right? And then this is gonna need to get out of my way as well. So this is gonna have to be a bit more bridge-like. This is like the only bridge part of the entire thing. And then... So now we got this, I, need, I want this to like level out because for C, it's this one coming. So this bridge can take up this area with the AE um, boat. So I might be able to, how do I want to do this? I can do that and that'll extend it, but I think it's going to fall down, right? Yeah, there's nothing holding it there. Hmm. All right, I think I have it. And before I see if this actually works, I want to point out that this was by no means an easy bridge. I think I've spent about half an hour trying to get this to work because I really want this design to work rather than to make probably what I'm supposed to make. But I don't want to make this come off as having been easy in the slightest manner. Okay, so let's give it a try. So once again, you're gonna make your jump, right? Boop, okay, you're good. Now this needs to lower and this needs to get the hell out of the way for him. Now this jump has caused me a lot of trouble, but <laughs> yes, <laughs> okay, I'll take it. And now we have the car, car. Oh, don't tell me that's, oh, no, here it comes. Oh, 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 yeah, <laughs> worked. Oh, that feels really good. <laughs> I wanted this stupid jump thing to work. Like I said, I've wanted to be doing jumps for a while now, and uh, I'm really happy that it worked. Let's see, if somebody number one, like, who can do this under $5,000? And I have to say, I'm really happy with the idea that they actually made a leaderboard in Polybridge because this is like the biggest thing that they've had. I don't care how many tools or how many more building parts they can have. The game was a lot of fun, but once you've beat it yourself, you don't really want to try to beat your own score. And once you've beat a level, you very rarely want to return to it. But with a leaderboard, you actually have that competition. You have that incentive to play the game over and over again. Like if I had a lot of spare time and not many other games to play personally, I would definitely be going back trying to beat all of these old levels. 
I'm really happy with that. So I, I'm not seeing anybody who I may know on the leaderboard. I'm just saying. We're, we're pretty low though, 75. I don't think I can make this cost any less. I'm pretty happy with the way that that works. 415 ups and downs. Oh my God. $50,000 wood steel hydraulic rope cable things. Oh boy. Okay, we got a bridge here, folks. So we have A going down and then up and then down. We have C going up and staying up and then down. And we have E up, down. Oh God, okay. So I need to build three individual bridges and then each of those bridges need to be able to change according to what order I need to put them through with hydraulics or draw bridges. So we're gonna start building according to A. So A needs to go across, A needs to go, okay. Can we, can we not, oh, you know what? We should try our tracing tool. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna make it straight, right? And then we can hit fill. Yeah, okay, you're coming in handy now, tracing tool, I like it. And then you need to go down, right? Oh, you're gonna do that stupid thing again. Okay, tracing tool, help me out here. We're gonna do that and we're gonna make them Straight, righty tighty. There we go. Okay. So now we have the basis of our bridge. Now we just have to do the whole bridge part. Okay. I have a couple of throwaway bridges here for now because I want to be able to work on this one first. So we're just going to have you go. Go on. Get out of here. Skidoo. And you're going to go up and down and be on your way. Now I want to see if this actually raises up because if this screws. Oh. Well then. Ah, okay. You know what? It, it was a little bit overzealous, but I think there was some promise there. That looks good. I think that's right. So now we have two bridges done. The middle one is going to be the troublemaker, not only because it's crooked and ugly, but because I don't think it's just going to be a single point rotation, right? Like if we have, okay, A is going, so A is going to go there, there. So it's fine for A. For C, it needs to go up and then over, so it needs to be flat. For E, it needs to be that way. And for G, it needs to be the opposite, but it needs to go down. So it needs to be able to do all of the motions. Crap. So we're gonna have to do a double split joint. And then I feel like really the only way to do something like this would be to really do something crazy. I'm thinking, oh yeah, I'm thinking we need to make like a pivot point here somewhere. Can I, thank you. Something like that. And then the same thing over here make it good and secure, right? Oh, that's not high enough. Yeah, something like this. Okay, here's the kicker. We are gonna make a double bridge. I'm gonna cut this right there. This part is gonna be independent of this part. So now I can put a hydraulic like that and a hydraulic like that. Yes. And it's all pivoting around this point and we're f oh, $5,000 over budget. What? We gotta cut costs on materials, folks. We gotta cut them everywhere. We gotta bring everything down just a little bit. And then in doing that, I'm gonna have to reset all these freaking hydraulics, but it's, it's saving us money. You can see the money shaving off. I don't know how far that's gonna have to go though. So let's, let's see, because technically I have more than enough space. That's not gonna go up enough, right? Oh, it still goes up almost enough. Interesting, almost. And that's only at 36%. So if we make this contract 50%, we bring it down like this, would that work? Because that'd save us a crap ton of money. Don't worry about all this breaking. That's just a nightmare as it is, right? Yeah, oh yeah, plenty. Okay, great. I don't know, man. You know what? Let's just run it. Let's just give it a try because it's a complete guess right now. So oh, this is such a cool bridge though. I got to say it's very different. So hopefully you're going right. You're going to go up. I'll speed it up a little bit because it is a bit of a long bridge. Now everything move according to plan. Oh, okay. You're going to go, oh, uh, uh, ooh, okay. I was going to say slow down a little bit, but that's my doing. Okay, you're good. And then that switches and then you're gonna, oh, what? Why? Oh, it's probably cause he's fat. Goddamn taxi and your chunky ways. You're gonna make me spend a bunch of my money on making this stuff bigger, aren't you? I know it. So we're gonna raise all this stuff up. Actually, in reality, this isn't costing me too much. Oh, it's costing me a little bit of money though. Okay, you know what? I think that's good. We're dollar under budget, ship it. 
So you were fine. You had no issues. The bridge is the exact same. We're gonna switch. You had no troubles. You're gonna go. The bridge is the exact same. Now for Fatty McCarface here. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know anymore, man. I'm just gonna keep running it and tweaking it and hoping that guy does a weird little jump. Oh, that's not good. That's not, that's not what I want. You're good? Oh, you're not good. Shit. Maybe? I have no idea. We're not even under budget. We are on budget. And I don't know how I feel about that. Once again, there's a little jump here that he's gonna hit. And I really don't like the idea of the fat car hitting a jump. Oh, <gasps> he's good. Okay, we only have the cop left. Go, go copper, go copper, go, no! <laughs> Why? So what the hell happened with the police officer? Because everything looks fine over here, right? Everything is the same, he made it across, so why don't you? Oh, you do now, okay, I didn't even change anything. If anything, I think I made it a little bit less strong. I moved something down a little bit, so we're now $50 under budget. Okay, either way, got there in the end. What a bridge is. Oh, you son of a bitch. He's $51 over me. I don't wanna, no, I have to go back. So it's like I said, this isn't gonna be a witch hunt series. This is not gonna be a rivalry series. I did, I found what Matt did was hilarious. I actually did laugh a lot at it and I very much appreciate it. But at the same time, if I see him on the leaderboard and I know I can shave a dollar or two, I can't really just let that stand. I mean, where would my gamer spirit be? Son of a bitch! You know what? I'm not even gonna change anything. I have faith in my bridge. This game just likes to screw with me. Shit. You know what? I'm not even gonna change anything. I'm just gonna let it run the way that it was because I have faith in my bridge and now it works. That is Poly Bridge in a nutshell. Doesn't work half the time, does work sometimes, but either way, we are now where I wanna be. But that's gonna be it for this episode of Poly Bridge, guys, and I was hoping to get through like four or five levels each episode. That doesn't seem like it's gonna be the case because getting through just three, getting through all of Ancient Ruins took a lot of time, a lot more than I had expected, which is fine. I don't want to rush through the series or anything like that. I just don't want to stretch it out. And I love that they have a little jumping sheep here. That's just adorable. So next episode, we are going to be doing 80s Funland, and then we're going to be moving on to Zen Garden. And then I'm going to be waiting for another update because I have no doubt that if they add more levels, I will revisit this game again. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. They don't look like they're screwing around. Oh, I got friends. Yeah, let's go friends. Oh, they're boxers. Oh shit, they're strong. What is this? What is this? I want this. Can I? Ah, uh, uh, I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. Come get some, you boxing bastards. Yeah, yeah, you know you want it.